generally I work on films and picture and stuff, but I, I thought this one uh, was probably a cool one to have a bit of a play with and see if anyone's into audio dramas um, and some of the stuff we're doing there. It uh, didn't matter that it was fake, though. All right, that, that delay is really giving me the shits. I, I see what the director didn't like about it now. Um, initially. It didn't matter that it was fake, though. It started uh, originally, I thought it was cool, and now I see it's absolutely not. But that's okay. Can't win everything, right? It didn't matter that it was fake, though. It started a movement. Um, it's crazy because of the... Uh, that it was fake, though. It started a movement. Spiritualism. Ouija boards. It's actually not... So, the, the, the premise of this... Yeah, yeah, interior voice. It's supposed to be like um, what you imagine, you know, like in, in your head. It's like the uh, narrator. I sort of don't really know what to do with it, to be honest, because I, I've tried, like, originally I had all this. I had, uh, and this is all in like the tiniest, tiniest uh, little drive. So I've got like a convolution reverb, um, crystallizer. I don't really know why I have this. It's like the tiniest effect. Like if you, if you, oops, uh, if you listen to it. Spiritualism. Ouija boards, seances, most of what I do. Spiritual, spiritualism, Ouija boards. It's it's so slightly different. Although the the no, the noise reduction on this is killing me. But uh, with crystallizer on. Spiritualism, Ouija boards, seances. Most it's kind of, of that. Spiritualism, Ouija boards. Just trying to get like a flutter sort of thing happening or or something to differentiate that. Uh, but I ended up pulling it all the way down, as you can see. Spiritualism, Ouija boards, seances close as possible to the mic all right um let's let's give that a go because yeah i'm i'm all for trying something because originally i had yeah i had all this stuff like uh, i sort of brightened it up a little bit oh no so i boosted up Spiritualism. below and stuff i don't really know why i'm using that eq to be honest it's not a not a great eq but um no reverb just eq all righty and just go for like the Scarlett Johansson thing in uh, her kind of vibe. Maybe I should just grab a tonal tonal thing from that um, and do that. So what, what's close to the mic? I suppose that's a low shelf and then pull out the mid range a bit and then up in the highs. Is that about right? Spiritualism. Ouija boards. More. Spiritualism. All right. Why aren't we hearing this? Spiritualism. Ouija boards. Spiritualism. Spiritualism. Oh, Ouija yeah. board. Fair enough. Yeah. Spiritualism. Ouija boards. Seances. The hard part is because it's got all that chirpy, high frequency stuff. It doesn't. You, you kind of can't pull it too much around because it, it's got that. Spiritualism. Ouija boards. Seances. Maybe it just needs to be DS'd as well and then it might sort of work. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a really weird one. I actually had a really nice day yesterday the other day and uh oh no mick dsp right i got mick dsp got super excited uh to use it again and then found that it just didn't work spiritualism ouija board i mean it works but it doesn't uh mm, yeah yeah yeah. Well, you know when you cover your ears and you talk oh uh, yeah 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 i'm trying so it's got a like muffled sort of thing I would really like to do it. Maybe uh, this sort of only works if you knew th about, um, if you knew what they were listening. Most people listen to audio dramas in, in, in cans. And so it'd be really cool to do it binaurally, I think, and do it like talking, um, actually pick a spot and do it binaurally instead of, um, let me see if I, I haven't actually done this with tools, but if, um, oh, what's the thing to do this with tools? There's a thing. Um, bu 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 I'm not going to know what this option is. I'm going to have to look into that. But there's a, yeah, do it binaurally so you can have it like a really, really pinpoint. You could have it right next to their ear or, or just pick one side or something. Spiritualism. Maybe don't pick one side. Maybe that's a bad idea. Spiritualism. Alrighty. Spiritualism. Stereoizing, yeah, okay. Um, just like widening or 
because I tried all this other stuff and it's it's hard to say whether or not it works because I just don't know how it's playing. I'm going to be really lame and just do like... No, not D-verb. That's not what I picked. Relay. Um, I'm just going to see if I... Ouija boards, seances, most of what I do. Spiritualism. Ouija boards, seances, most of what I do. Mm, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying because it like go with something with a bit of contrast so you can break it up and... That, that, the weird thing is normally this is in mono. For some reason this is in stereo. What do you think it sounds like when Bigfoot pops his toe? But it also pops around a lot because um, I mean, it, w it will, it doesn't yet, but it, it will at some point. Do that. What do you think it sounds like when Bigfoot pops his toe? Although I suppose I need to be careful here because I think this, uh, yeah, the dialogue bus is just pulling it all the way in. So I probably don't need that now because I can just do it myself. What do you think it sounds like when Bigfoot pops his toes? What? He's got big feet, right? Probably some big toe knuckles on there. Mm. Well, you'd think a Sasquatch was popping its knuckles last night. Well, it's possible, right? Well, yeah, I guess. I love how disappointed he'd be. It didn't matter that it was fake, though. Oh. It started a movement. Spiritualism. Ouija boards. Seances. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that, that crazy on that, uh, that stereoizing. I just don't think it's a nice enough source, I think, because it's got high-end flutter. Because of the denoising, it's gonna, it's gonna get brutalized by that, um, if I really push that a lot harder. But, you know, it's, I mean, it's... It didn't matter that it was fake, though. It started a movement. Spiritualism. Ouija yeah. boards, seances, most of what I do. It all goes back to a couple of girls with really creaky toes. And if you know all that history, right, it's foundational to what you do and why you do it. What do you think your nightmares are going to be about? Of course, it was going to be not. Yeah, it works better with male voices. Makes sense. I think the, uh, yeah, I think this voice is just in a particularly bad state that it doesn't really, uh, it... What do you think your nightmares are going to be about? Originally, I actually had all this, um, yeah, reverse reverbs and stuff on it because it's, uh, it's just supposed to feel like, you know, um, well, it's all paranormal, right? So it's kind of, it kind of worked with the theme as well. Jake, what is it? I, um, I don't think we should go this way. Okay. Oh, he's upset about that. So we can go there. I don't think we should go this way. Why can't okay. everyone sound like well, Morgan Freeman? I think I... I saw one of those uh, great impressions of Morgan Freeman. Have you seen that thing of like, you just need to describe things like, uh, you just sit around and you'll just, you know, the, you're looking at the carpet and it's moving from wall to wall and it's just sort of meandering along in the description whatever happened to his does he still do voiceovers and stuff anymore or is it pretty much cooked for him okay. well i think i see some more bent branches up that way i mean to be honest i see them everywhere it's almost like they're naturally occurring go back there's narrating you fish jake i'm sorry if i seem no let's go okay uh pops pops oh, pop, get back here man that foley like uh, it's Someone's grabbed, I don't know, just a bunch of newspaper, and they're just like, yeah. Here. Laura, don't. That'll Come work. On, I just... It's a bad place, Laura. Jake, I'm gonna need... I feel like he needs to really... Laura, don't. He ne needs to really stop her here. Laura, don't. Come on. I, this, like, never works. And that's why I'm just really wanting to try this. But have you ever seen that thing with not deplosive or anything this is a it, it really it won't work but laura don't like because he kind of goes laura don't and it'd be good to go laura don't and kind of keep it down there so i wonder if don't and as i said this like never ever ever works but i like playing with it anyway in the hopes that one day it'll work um and see the stuff i've had to do in the past but you kind of get different lines out of this dialogue contour I don't know if anyone's played with this before, um, but it's pretty fun. 
Laura, don't. So, don't. Uh, he, she kind of, he kind of comes up there. Laura, don't. See, that's kind of cool. I just don't want the form and change. But you see how that way he like lands on it and it doesn't. Um, he doesn't. Don't. He's not all over the place, and it's kind of a bit more definitive. Like he's telling her off. Laura, don't. It's, it's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, if I had, I don't know whether I, with form and scaling, I don't know what this is, this is going to change. Laura, don't. It's, yeah, I, I do need a different, um, oh, that's cool. Pitch offset, let's see if we. Laura, don't. It's, it gets a little electronic, doesn't it? Yeah, slicing the transient and then doing. it Laura, from... don't. I think it kind of works, just. Laura, don't. You know what's crazy? This curve smoothing thing, right? How you can have all these points and then you can just pick and it's like, I wish we just had that curve smoothing in Pro Tools. It'd just be amazing if you could actually just do that. Because this is just going to be applying... Oh, maybe we should just apply it to that and then leave the T. Laura, don't. It's not really working, is it? Laura, don't. Let's go stupid with it. Laura, don't. <laughs> Never gonna work. Uh, one day, one day I'll find a use for this. I really will. Laura, don't. I think it's kind of better. Let's let's do it. Let's go for it. Then we can say we've used it. Laura, don't. He doesn't really. Doesn't sound super confident or anything, but you know. Laura, don't. Laura, don't. I don't know. Now it just. Laura, don't. Come on, I just. It's a bad. Maybe he needs to just break between it as well. If he broke a little between it, I think that would make it a lot easier. I'm trying to work out if I. Maybe I can make the chat on the screen last a bit longer because the. I'm worried that it's going to disappear. Um. No, it doesn't really. Oh, I don't know. Don't know if the the chat really needs to be there, but try something different, right? See how that go kind of goes. Um, uh, going live with the one not in general. Oops. Cool. All right. And just post this thing in the audio drama. Come hang. There we go. Alrighty. Anyway, already already bugger things up by posting it in uh, general. So I'll maybe just delete my message. Sorry, all. Feel bad. Anyway, uh, already. So. Come on, I don't. just. It's a bad place, Laura. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Laura. Come on, I don't. just. It's a bad place, Laura. Jake. Maybe, maybe the line could be changed. It'd be better if she said. Laura. Come on, I just. Don't. It's a bad place, Laura. Nah, we'll keep it the same way. Cause probably, probably, just break it up a little bit. Laura, don't. Come on, I just. It's a bad place, Laura. Jake, I'm gonna need you to let go of me. Ooh. Thank you. Now I'm going to get my dog. I wouldn't. So don't. What are you so upset about here? I've gone with all these like spooky. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna come up a, a bit later once we get rid of these footsteps. And pick what some other stuff, but. Soda pop. Soda pop. Where are you, buddy? So chirpy. You checking out those deer carcasses? Jesus, that is a lot of dead deer. It was a neat circle of dead things. 
trees, bushes, animals, and birds looked like they'd fallen out of the sky. Even the dirt felt dry and lifeless. What could even do this? I mean, just elk realized don't I was just do graveyards. They're not the elephants. It's the weird thing, and I didn't really think about this. We're actually later, listening to the director. There weren't even any bugs. No flies. No worms. Nothing. Oh. But the there's a couple of times that if it gets loud enough, I think the uh, the speakers will come out as well. But that's just me because I was playing with that gate before. Um, it shouldn't be that bad. Change that up. Back. Yeah. So this what? is. Uh, set of up. Yeah. Believe it or not, the dialogue just sounds like that at that point. Soda Pop! Soda Pop! Where are you, buddy? Soda Pop! Soda Pop! Where are you, buddy? Hey! You checking buddy. out this deer? Thanks, mate! Oh, because of you, bud? Uh, yeah, it's something a bit different. I don't have a webcam yet, so I'm looking at this one. But, um, you know, coming along. Yes, I know, right? When I was looking at it, I, I was looking at the different production categories and I was just like, I guess we're in creative. I've seen like a friend of mine does uh, music composition streams. So he does a thing where he's uh, just like jumps on and works on that. But um, I think this is pretty cool. I think there's a, there's, a, there's a great way to do it. What would we name it? Would it just be audio production? Uh, but then who's going to search audio production? I will search because then audio production, I suppose, could be things like mixing. Like, I haven't, I mean, look at like Mix with the Masters. Imagine being able to jump on a freaking stream with Mix with the Masters. It'd be amazing. Because then, like, this, this, this in particular isn't film. This is just, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Might need a film and TV post and then do sound category underneath that. There should be a colorist. That'd be amazing. Imagine, imagine, actually, that, I mean, hey, people would be into it, wouldn't it? People would be into just watching like a stream on color grading. No, it's on chat. That'd be pretty cool though. Yeah, maybe there's a thing. Do, do you just, I think there's a Twitch rep I have on Facebook that I could um, message them. I don't know if that matters. Or if you've got people that you can talk to, that'd be sick. Because, I mean, this, when you do look at our category, category creative really means absolutely nothing, doesn't it? It just means like, oh, well, we could either uh, be drawing pictures or editing. I mean, the funny thing, right, is that Oscars never even say that sound editing is creative. It's just technical. It's a technical award anyway, right? So we're in the wrong category anyway. We should be in the other, uh, should be in the other, other category. I mean, I'll take it. This is the only time we'll get called creative. Where are you, buddy? That'd be fun, right? You checking out those deer carcasses? I hate that. You can get people knitting. 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 Knitting, I think, has a K. K, knitting. Knitting. There you go. There you go. It's the act, the craft or action of knitting. Material in which is in process of being knitted. I put down my knitting. You could stick to one knitting. Concentrate on a familiar area of activity. That's a good one. Stick to one's own knitting. Make sure to remember that one. But imagine, yeah, you're right. Imagine watching people knit. Do you think they have knitting competitions? But like aggressive timed knitting. So good. Watch Nana whip up a scarf in like Jesus, that is... 10 seconds flat. It was a neat circle of dead things. That could be a thing. That could be a new business, a business opportunity opening up. It was a neat circle of dead things. I've, I've only lurked around Twitch like once or twice. I saw um a, a while ago I was into like, I do a lot of programming and stuff on the side. Not a lot. I do a bit, but uh, yeah, I was I was trying to get into like uh, people do like game development, Twitch streaming, and stuff like that. 
and yet when i was watching that i was like man this is pretty lame like just watching people yeah yeah just watching tv or something it's just uh google google box google box whatever it's called people just watching tv or just like standing around i i was watching one yesterday actually which was a guy i just couldn't work out what the hell it was it was like he was the, the chat was just going mental like 30,000 people or something chatting and it was just like nothing happening on screen it's really bizarre i couldn't really yeah, i just I didn't really understand it. But. The weird thing, and I didn't really think about this until later, but there weren't even any... Then there was another one where I think a guy was buying people. I don't know if he was getting a good price or what works there, but he was he was talking about buying people. I think he was literally playing, like, playing Counter-Strike with rented girls or something. It was really bizarre. It just made the whole thing seem really, really quiet. Which is just a really weird place. But I suppose it's good. I mean, it's, it's no weirder than YouTube, right? There's people doing that on YouTube. I don't know how I found it. I think it was, uh, if I went to like, you know how you have Twitch and you just have like, discover, then it was like something here. And it just, yeah. I mean, it's just chatting. That's a good one, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but there was literally a non-stop marathon of Bob Ross. Just, oh, look. Benny. Go check out Noisy Post if you haven't and you're watching this in the future. Don't watch it in the past. Not possible. Pops? Oh, soda pop. Oh, thank God. What'd you find, buddy? I don't know if anyone... Hey, hey. It's just they kind of have this really little dog, and it's it's so it's so weird thinking of a really really little dog as a guard dog. But city of roses, it's a dumb joke sweater I got for roses. Because we got this massive dog. Where is he? Here he is, that boy. I say he's just you normally normally chilling on the couch, but just been moving this uh, all the gear around. Um, now he just likes sleeping on this. Uh, Beautiful Persian rug I have on the floor. I'd have a good Persian rug, right? In Portland, one time. She said she threw it out before we even broke up. Is this why you ran off, Pops? You could smell her? I like the dog's name. She said it in one of those Soda dumb... Pop. Actually, cool thing, if you're, um... If you ever need Atmos, for instance, in this one, I'm going to need a lot of Atmos because uh, I've got some stuff, but uh, it's nothing crazy, but... I was talking, I basically yelled into the void, which is what you do on Twitter. You just yell at people. And I was asking like, oh, it's, it's set in Oregon. And I don't even know where Oregon is, actually. Maybe I should find out. I, I imagine it's like Montana. Could be wrong. Uh, oh, wow. I had, it's, it's on the West Coast. Okay. I had no idea it was there. I thought it was like over here somewhere. Yeah, Wyoming, Montana. Oh, yeah, it's close to Montana, right? Idaho. Cool names, right? But anyway, I was talking. It's set in Oregon. This, uh, this, this thing. And the guy was, I was, I was asking on Twitter, like, uh, what are the sounds of Oregon? Because I haven't been to Oregon, and I don't know what animals there are. And a lot of my atmos is obviously Australian atmos. And this guy wrote back. And he just listed off like every animal that has ever made sound in Oregon. And it was amazing because it lent me, it, it led me to, uh, it led me to this other website. Oh, I don't know where it is now, but uh, it led me to this other website that adds, um, I just had tons and tons and tons of recordings. I think it's uh, Yellowstone. That's what it is. Yellowstone, Yellowstone. Here we go. The United National Park Service, the NPS. And the sick thing about it is that they actually have recordings of like everything. I'll need to change that now. Sort of reticent to change anything because I'm worried that 
I'll bugger it up. Um, and then I'll have to learn more. But you can use all these recordings for anything. They're, uh, they're allowed to be used for absolutely anything, which is sick because they're pretty rare. Um, a lot of the audio is, is, you know, questionable. It's not incredible. Um, but if you look through, like they just have huge, huge, huge number of uh, really like specific animals, uh, which I'm going to be using heaps of. So you can see here, like uh, the American Dipper and the Robin were two of the ones, but there was another one that was really cool. The elk, I'll just have to show you the elk sound. And but, but, but there was, the wolves were pretty cool as well. Marmots. I don't know where the marmot recording was, but I had a really good recording of marmot. I think I actually used it earlier on. Uh, is it in here? Marmot, marmot, marmot. Uh, it'll be in ambiences. I haven't done a lot of work yet. Here we go. The common loon. Let's check this out. Probably need to crank the crank the signal. You got to hear what's in the background here, though. Yeah, it's an elk. It's an elk bugling. Which they sound just unbelievable. Like there's the, the loon and whatever, and that's that's really cool. But the uh, the elk just mental. They just sound insane. There. And they just, just I'm gonna be screaming somewhere. I don't know. I got a lot of rain. Just trying to take this in a bit. I mean, really, I, I need to break this up. These are just sort of all dropped in. But it's hard because initially, I, ha I know how nice are these rain sounds. If you're really into rain sounds, actually, check out, um, uh, is it George Vlad Rain Recordings? He uses, uh, yeah, check this out. Check out this uh, Tone Benders app. Um, this is so sick. He used a Sonella blimp and uh, waterproofed it. And the reason it sort of worked is that um, they, they go on and it, it's just like amazing rain sounds. But the thing is, it's not rain on uh, like a roof or something. It's normally, you know, normally when you get rain, you get rain like hitting something. This is literally just hitting the blimp. It's amazing. I got to, um, yeah, Tone Benders is just sick, but he, uh, George Vlad, runs like a a thing yeah awesome you listen to those guys a lot that's great the george vlad runs this uh facebook thing where he does uh recording trips so i think he's doing one to like the rainforest uh, amazon rainforest next year oh no middle of the way through this year and then he's doing antarctica at the end of the year and um i just like i mean it's expensive it's like but he's doing a you know, a whole bunch of sound recorders going out and they're doing like a, a sound walk, you know, recording, uh, recording a whole bunch of stuff. So it's, anyone ever goes on one of those, like I'd, I'm just dying to go on one at some point. Um, I've been like prepping the, the bag uh, to go out and record some ambiences and stuff, hoping that if the whole virus situation gets a bit worse and people clear off the streets a bit more, um, I'll be out there recording all the, all the quiet places that people are usually in finally we'll get some peace and quiet even though it's for all the wrong reasons but you know it's something anyway uh national park service really really cool um great great way to get a whole bunch of recordings of like really really particular specific animals which is pretty neat Someone there? What that was. Someone there? I'll work on that. 
don't know that the dog whining should MP3. Um, did it did 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 pop him? Yeah, put the dog out better. I think essentially she's just like. Oh, I'm really starting to hate this place. She's getting more. Whoop. This place. Yeah, she's getting like more and more spooked by first unheard message. The hey, different elements. Hey, uh, is this Laura Campbell? I cannot find my keys, and like, I don't know if you ever do any work with poltergeists, but there is this. Oh, <laughs> hang on, <laughs> they're they're just in my jeans. Never mind. Uh -huh. oh, fine. Oh, there's some weird. Going on there, huh? Ah, we'll fix it later. Oh, finally, Jesus! It's funny, like how much I'll use this rain and distant elk recording now because it's just something a little bit different. Like I find that um, anything with that v sort of variety is going to sound really cool. But the the downside of it is that I'm just so used to hearing, um, you know, cicadas that I just think, ah, oh, cicadas. Night time. Time for cicadas. Then people are like, oh, there's no cicada. Like, I was just doing a, a film for the, uh, in, well, shot in the UK. And I was like, oh, what's the, uh, what's the sound of this bit with, um, they're in like a, like a tunnel of a forest, essentially, if that makes sense. Like a, a small path with overhanging trees. And I was like, would that be loud? Or would there be like lots of insects? And they were like, no, there'd be absolutely nothing there. And I was like, oh. So no, like cicadas, and they were like, "No, what's a cicada?" Yes, you can have the sweater. And that was really weird. Welcome to the lofty diner. Do you want a booth or table? Amazing how like it just all sounds really. Welcome to the lofty diner. Do you want a booth or table? Act, but I think that'll go away. Do you want a booth or table? I'm actually just looking for Sheriff Tate. Dispatch said he was here. She's got this, uh, this is one thing with recording voiceover artists. One probably gets all the time. Yeah, when in doubt, crickets or cicadas. That's it. That's what I do. I'm actually just looking for Sheriff Tate. Disp got a real squelchy. I'm just looking for Sheriff Tate. That, need to drink. Sheriff Tate. Sheriff Tate. Well, I mean, it was that, right? So when in doubt, crickets or cicadas. I like the one yesterday on uh, Noisy Post stream. Where it was uh, on Benny stream, where it was uh, when in doubt, uh, was it? They went with um, walruses and sea lions, and then we ended up getting that amazing walrus sea lion sex sound. Oh, good. That fit perfectly with the scene. Uh, let's go mouth de click. Just looking for Sheriff Tate, dispatch. Bad, huh? Actually, just looking for Sheriff Tate. Dispatch. Someone just unwrapping a candy wrapper. Looking for Sheriff Tate. Dispatch said he was here. Yeah, that's better. Said he was here. Get rid of Tate. All of them. Dispatch said he was here. That's a weird bit. A little. Dispatch said he was here. Probably just. Uh. As long as she has enough time. Said he was here? Oh, he is, but he's actually in a meeting with... Um... Mayor Terry Boone, is that you? Oh my gosh. Make some calls or something. Yes. Oh no, where did I go? Right to it. Well, not right to it, but you know, I can find it again. Come on. Oh. Is that all right with you, Mayor Boo? Honey, I can't a seat at the counter. Oh, I actually have business with the two of you, if you don't mind. Is that all right with you, Mayor Boo? She sounds super... Her face, huh? I don't know why she's... I guess maybe just remote. Is that all right with you, Mayor Boo? Whether that's just happened over. Is that all right with you, Mayor Boo? Probably just levels. 
at the counter. Oh, I actually have business with the two of you, if you don't mind. Is that all right with you, Mayor Boo? Honey, I keep telling you to call me Terry. Right. Sorry. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair. I wonder whether that's... Is that supposed to be her proving that she's like a woman of the people? Right. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Pretty weird. I don't really know why I don't just put one. Right. Sorry. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair here. Right. Sorry. So she's just really, really present. Which is good. It's good to be present. Right. Sorry. Of course. Right. Sorry. Oop. Right. Sorry. That's a bit. Right. Sorry. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair here. I'm always happy to hear us. Right. Sorry. I'll go and actually smooth everything over a bit. Right. Sorry. I think that sounds better than... Right. Sorry. He had no body and it was all just Right. Hand. Sorry. Stuff. Right. have a body. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair here. I'm always happy to hear a citizen's report. Man, how good does this sheriff sound? Of course, we'll just pull up another chair here. I'm always happy to hear a citizen's report. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair. He's just such a great voice. Um. Of course, we'll just pull up another chair here. I'm always happy to hear a citizen's report. Okay, well, I'll just come back for the, uh, I'll check in on you. Thanks. Now, what can I help you with? I'm surprised to see you out in a... It's a purr, purr, purr. I know, right? Theater voice actors. You can just tell straight away. Some of these, um, some of the delivery is really, really, really sick. I love, like, I, every time I always inevitably get in a fight with people, because uh, I do a lot of dialogue recording and stuff, and, uh, well, ADR and film recording and whatever. And when people are talking about how they, um, they do ADR or they hate ADR or something, I, I remember this story where I had uh, a whole day of ADR to do. I had the guys come in and the girls come in and it was an ADR of a film shot in Turkey. And so there's heaps of Turkish in it. And we're like getting through the cues and we're going like, oh, geez, I'm, I'm just like no idea if I'm getting things right or wrong. Um, but the director's just telling me, yep, yeah, that was the line, like keep that one. And because um, it's all in Turkish. And then we get to the bit with uh, the, the lead actor. And the lead actor's like driven all the way in. It's like two hours to get there. And he did a great job on set. And we needed like two lines from him to ADR. And I felt so bad because I was like, oh no, this guy's going to come in and he's going to, he's, he's either going to give me a lot of trouble because they're like two pretty tricky lines with like a fair bit of emotional stuff and weird sync. And then he comes in and he's a theater actor and he gets them both perfectly on the first shot. And so I was like, oh crap. Well, now I guess he's here for the hour. Let's just get most of his lines. Um, just any lines that was a bit iffy, we just went and got. And he was just getting them all like so perfectly. And it was just, yeah, the interactors, man, they don't, they don't muck around. Uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't really surprise me anymore. But um, they're just, you know, you get film actors that are just like, everything's about whisper quiet as you can possibly be and then you get stage actors who are all projecty and right i'm surprised to see you out and about dear i thought i was clear he's a bit of a stern sort of tone but it works i just like this guy. what can i help you with oh cool i'm surprised to see you out and about dear i thought i was clear what's that now is everything okay I just have a little history with Mayor Terry's daughter, Rose. Uh, oh, she I didn't realize before, but she, she does need a bit of e clickifying. She's got a I little... just have a little history with Mayor Terry's daughter, Rose. With Mayor Terry's daughter. That. I have a little history with Mayor Terry's daughter, Rose. Cool. One of those things where they just don't drink enough water. Oh, oh, you're Laura Kim. That should be up.
Yeah, yeah, I know, right? You just you set it up once and you're just like, oh crap, there you go. Uh, that's amazing how much better you are than the last person. Oh, oh. have you been talking? Oh, oh, you're Laura Campbell. Have you been talking about me, Mayor Boone? How flattering. Oh, what? Uh, good things. Oh. Have you been talking about me, Mayor Boone? How flattering. Oh, well, she watching. just mentioned a few things. Well, yes, people, if so if anyone wants to jump in and say hello, in bald ads, just chatting up a storm, and, uh, talking about theater actors and stuff, but, you know, say hello and join in if you like talking about... Well, she just mentioned a few things. The, the appreciation of how cool this sheriff is. Um... Who's definitely not going to be a few things. Well, I mean, he's a, he's a oh, he has some funny lines later. I don't know if I'll yes. So I wouldn't you, say but... there's much the two of you need to talk about. If you could just, I found Rose's sweater in the woods above Jake Talbot's house. I can take you right to it. Ooh. Well, not right to it, but you know, I can find it again. Come on. I don't know if that all needs. I to found do. Rose's sweater in the woods above Jake. There's been like the, the normal dialogue conform has already happened and everything as you can sort of see. And it's generally, uh, I get these in a couple of different forms. I'm working on a couple of audio dramas at the moment. It's a pretty cool field. I haven't really worked in much of it before. As I said, generally come from a film background. Uh, but this side is, is kind of nice because you're just really trying to tell the whole story. And at the moment, like this is all temp stuff that's come from the editor. Uh, a lot of it will stay together. Um, because it, it is, it is working, uh, but it is one of those things that we'll probably just need to keep above Jake Talbot's house. I can take you right to it. Well, not right to it, but you know, I can find it again. So essentially there's a, there's a girl that's missing. Um, there's a, uh, what's it called? Uh, psychic investigator who's searching out, um, this girl and they're making sure that they know. Dude, you, you should totally try editing audio drama, Baldaz. It's so much fun, man. Like, it's, you don't have to worry about sync, and you don't have to worry about, you, you know, you can change perspectives all the time. You can do all this creative stuff with it. And you tr you're trying to really, like, uh, yeah, you think about something really little, like, um, you know, guy has a gun to his head, and it's like, how do you represent that without showing the gun? So you have to, like, cock the gun, or you have to... Uh, have like a really nice pacing of the scene but you can't just have a guy say like oh i've got a gun to my head you know because that that doesn't really work so if you're a soundie there's and man there's there's a lot of cool stuff uh out there as well um i think uh i think i'm on about three or four of these at the moment but uh the the work is really fun um you you're making everything sound a lot better there's a lot of uh i think it's probably really good to do this stuff before you do um like adr mixing i think if you die if you're a dialogue mixer and you are used to matching different shots and using a lot of eq match stuff um it's really really great because these tracks don't normally come like this they normally come all over the place with tons of different actors in different rooms with different reflections with heaps of reverb and all sorts of weird stuff or they come kind of overcooked in some instances so if you're looking to be a better dialogue mixer Man, audio drama is where it's at. Come on. She must have passed through there on her way to wherever she went. It's a lead. She's a missing person, well, that's right? Cool. So Sound editor. The sporadic part. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, it's always sporadic, isn't it? It's about to get a lot more sporadic. I'm, I'm currently waiting on a couple of, a couple of jobs and, you know, some, some things are coming in, some things are going out. Super sporadic, that's for sure. Um, I'm just trying to work out what's uh what's going to kind of happen as we all you know, look into the crystal ball and try and work this stuff out i yeah, mean you just you just keep plugging along something i really like about audio dramas is just something to work with um it's something to have a bit of fun it's with. it's a lead she's a missing person right so if we just head back up there rose Bo you can kind of hear that because this was recorded in the studio because it does have some good backers um you can hear that i think the person in the studio is probably over compressing it a little bit um i'd rather that came a little bit later uh but it, it, it's it it's a very radio uh way of working i think like the the idea of uh, super compressed um you know, everything runs through a limiter at the end and they just smash it 
which I don't know is t- totally necessary anymore, given the the way that these things pan out. She's been gone for two there. Rose Boone is not a missing person, Miss Campbell. And look how good this guy is. Rose Boone is not a missing person, Miss Campbell. Even his pacing is just so sick. She's been gone for two weeks. She's fine. And, and her mother says she's camping. Listen, Miss Campbell, I don't know when you were last in con- yeah, break that up. Her mother says she's camping. Listen, camping. Listen, Miss Campbell, I don't know when you were last in contact with- Can we can break it up a little bit? And her mother says she's camping. Listen, Miss Campbell, I don't know when you were last in contact with Rose, but yeah, this yeah, is- you can hear you can hear parts of it, but I think breaking that up sounds a lot better. Downside is I need to shuffle everything in the entire picture. Because the way these things go. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I just stuffed that up. I got excited. Rose Boone is not a Miss Miss Campbell, believe it or not. We act and her mother says she's camping. Listen, Miss Campbell, I don't you can hear you can hear a lot of the edits there. It's um it's, it's how you got these things right. Just uh roll with the punches. I think if we just do this and we'll grab everything, that'll work. I reckon that'll work. I think I'm gonna do it a lot. I'm gonna be breaking things up a lot. Work. We'll, we'll we'll fit it all. And her mother says she's camping. Listen, Miss Campbell, I don't know when you were last in contact with Rose, but this isn't so unusual with her. Clearly it is, or else why would Mitchell... Mitchell suffers from a severe respiratory disorder. I don't see how he could have called you, Laura. Do you want to hear the message? I've been having some issues with my voicemail, but I'm sure it's in there. Miss Campbell, believe it or not, we actually have things under control here. You can you can hear the edits here are sort of skipping around. I don't know how how noticeable it's going to be to the average listener. Miss Campbell, believe it or not, we actually... I think it'd be nicer if there was just a bit more pacing, but I guess they're just trying to take the take the speed out of it, or add rather take the speed, put the speed into it. Miss Campbell, believe it or not, we actually have things under control here in Wasco County, and, and we don't need people like you. No, 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 not. I love this bit. We don't need people like you. And he's like, there's the thing that nobody likes. I think maybe we can pick up the speed there. I think this there. is nice. Miss Campbell, believe it or not, we actually have things under control. I mean, he's trying to calm her down, right? So he should, he should really change his pacing there. Miss Campbell, believe it or not, we actually have things under control here in Wasco County, and, and we don't need people like you. No, 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 not. My niece is a lesbian, all right? So I don't have a problem with that. I just mean with your history of, of misrepresenting yourself. Okay, maybe you're not the right person to go around telling us what to do. Misrepresenting myself? Mayor Boone, what have you been saying about me? Nothing that isn't true. The fake psychic business. Fake? You don't believe I'm really psychic? <laughs> oh, uh, no, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling something. Laura, someone here. I wish she was like, oh, wait, I'm feeling something. Oh, someone here is an asshole. Someone here has unresolved business with someone on the other side. Somebody here, you've been thinking about them lately, just uh, unexpectedly. I'm getting maybe an M or a D. I don't really get the cold reading bit, yo. Know? Alright, I'm eating while I work, but... I had a really early meeting this morning. My great aunt. Her, her name was Mary Dawson. That's it. Oh, she has a message for you. Oh, Enough. Oh. I wonder what that sound's supposed to be. Enough. It should be like dropping a plate or something, right? Instead of. Enough. Oh, no, it's gone. Sorry, everyone. What do you want? I want you to investigate this. Yeah, some of the studio acting is like. Investigate this. I don't know if I think they. I think they did record it together. Because I think that's how it all sort of sounds um, as similar as it does. 
do think they recorded it together, but I don't know if they, um, yeah, I think they recorded it together, but I think they do lines separately or something, but hard to say. The, the, I feel like the acting's pretty good. This. For the most part, like, dude, I, when you work on a couple audio dramas, let me tell you, uh, some of them are not great. Um, it's something you see all the time. Like it's, it's just like film, right? You know, some, some films are just like, Oh Jesus, I don't know how someone's saying that, but who are we to judge, right? The cool thing about audio drama is that everyone like just gets in, does their own thing, um, and around having fun. Really nice. I want you to investigate this, to care or something. Okay. You can hear that. Care or something. Hear that. Care. Care? You can hear the. This. To care or something. Super, super smart. I don't know whether you think if we expanded it, would it would it be better, or are we, are we being silly? I don't know whether that's. Do you think that's it? Just hitting the limiter, maybe. Hairs, 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 hairs. I don't know how long I could listen to that for. Probably a while. Probably a while. But you know. To care something. Yeah, no, I think I meant it. To care or something. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that better. Unless I just smashed the gain at that point. It was a really cool, really cool shortcut yesterday. I can't remember what it is. I only remember that one. But it was, maybe it's backslide. No. What was the one where it adds breakpoints? Start and of the selection. Yeah, can I automate that area of the transient? I think that's what I need to do here. Um, but I also don't know. Care or something. It's, it's, it's so smashed that I'd really have to like- Care or something. Open it up and then pull it back and- Care or something. Care or something. Okay. I think it's probably not horrible, right? To care or something. Okay, we're. I think we're making it better by doing that. To care or something. Okay, were there any. Yeah. Look, it's. I, I can probably get the original files if I really, really wanted to fix it. To care or something. Okay, were there any signs of struggle around this sweatshirt you found? Well, no, but there were a bunch of dead deer. Well, that sounds like an issue for the game warden, wouldn't you say, Sheriff Tate? Sure. <laughs> Come on, Sheriff. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. I like it because he also has that, like, uh, southern whistly... And he's sort of talking. Kind of good. I mean, I need to take it out, which is disappointing. But um, I just like that kind of really silly whistle. Mm. So, we're going to hear this line a lot. It, what? Mayor Terry's got a point. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Cam. Where is my... What's happening here? Sensory EQ. Why can't I preview that? Where's the preview button? That's weird. Oh, there you go. We find the reverse button. We lose the preview button. What is that about? How are we supposed to guess? We're we supposed to hear it. What? It should be there, right? Be here. Okay. Literally, what I do all the time. Am I missing something? Am I doing something stupid? Probably doing something stupid. It's there. That's what we want. But then. Neutron, just like, no. Oh my gosh. That's bizarre. Okay, thank you. Audio suite. Thank you for nothing. 
Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. Yeah, I know. Right, we've got the uh, the reverse button now that we've found that reverse button. I can't believe it. When I found that, like, man, you should have said, oh, I wonder what... There you go. There's a whole file button. Probably check that out as well. Be able to do it to the whole file, I guess. There isn't really any others that do anything cool, I don't think. I don't know if the... the imagine if the modulator had... Oh, there you go. Holy crap. So the modulator's got a crystallizer has a reverse granular echo. It's it's funny how like I I was aware that it was there and parts of me really cared, but other bits you just sort of wonder wonder why that's. I mean, I guess it's not that big. Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss. Mayor. Tiny little thought of that. Mayor Terry. I would don't want. Mayor Terry. Mayor Terry's got a point. Still there, huh? Mayor Terry's got a point, Miss Campbell. And for where I'm sitting, this doesn't seem to be a criminal matter at all. But, well, there you have it. And I think it's about time we both got back to work, wouldn't you say, Sheriff? I'll just go see the girl about the bill. Camille, honey. Yes, Mayor Boone? Listen, uh, <clears throat> the thing about my aunt, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Camille, honey. Yes, Mayor Boone? Listen, uh, <clears throat> Need a little bit more discussion from them, maybe, there. Anyway. Listen, uh, uh, the thing about my aunt, uh, did she say anything in particular? You know, because there's a rumor in my family about... I love it. It's like he doesn't believe in it, but then he goes in and he's like, um, do you... Is there money? Apparently there's money. That plate hitting at the background at the same time. Is it during... Listen, uh, uh, the thing about my aunt, uh, did she say... That one? When she's talking. Well, there you have it. And I think it's about time we both got back to work, wouldn't you say, Sheriff? Oh, I'll that one. That one there in the middle of this bit. Wouldn't you say, Sheriff? 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 Um, so I think maybe we just get rid of it. And... I know. Cookies. Um, maybe we'll just grab grab something else. Let flat it over the top. I think it's about time we both got back to work, wouldn't you say, Sheriff? I'll just go see the girl Good about find, the bill. Man. Camille, honey. I mean, I gotta I gotta do the Atmos again anyway, but great find. Listen, uh, <clears throat> the thing about my aunt, uh, did she say anything? About I really, I I kind of agree that we probably don't need any of that crap. <clears throat> the thing about my aunt, uh, did she say anything in particular? You know, because there's a rumor in my family about some gold. Come on, Sheriff. <laughs> well, we'll talk another time. We we definitely will. I wonder what that's about. Oh, that's, um, that's not Laura. That's Miss Boone. Come on, Sheriff. Ugh. About some gold. Come on, Sheriff. <laughs> well, we'll talk another time. We we definitely will. I'm coming, Terry. Terry the ball buster. Hey, wait, don't go. <laughs> you love this, like, horse galloping. Go, go, go. I don't know that that's, uh, I think I could probably do a fair bit better following that. All right, what I'm here for. Oh, there's more. Hey, wait, don't go. Oh, I can't handle this. Hey, wait, don't go. It it's Lara, right? Love how everyone here already knows my name. Listen, I, I heard what you said in there. Not that I was eavesdropping, I just... Was... Okay, I don't think the spirits are going to give me any more information right now, so... No, no, I mean... Are you really looking for Rose? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. I feel like- It's weird because it, it was a high heels recording. You know, she walks like a horse, but it, it was a high heel recording. So I don't know why it would 
Thank God. I feel like I've been going insane. Everybody's acting like there's no big deal, and if you bring up Rose, it's like they... <laughs> like what? Oh, crap. Is Rose, it's like they... <laughs> I wonder what that is. It sounds like something powering on. Really bizarre. I don't know if I'm going to fix that either. Rose, it's like they... Like... Bear dragging, you reckon? Rose, it's like they... No. Really, really smooth for a chair drag. Could be a chair drag, though. Car pass, yeah, I think it's a car pass as well. I just don't know why, because it's in a studio. It's not a great studio, but a studio nonetheless. So, you know. Rose, it's like the... I wonder if... So this is where having access to slightly bigger handles would really, really help me out. Studio with bad isolation, yeah. Well, and if you bring up Rose, it's like the... I mean, I feel like... Just see if we get away with it. And if you bring up Rose, it's like they. There we go. That kind of works. If I had. Oh. Just something. See if we can get much. That much stuff. I don't know if, uh, if that's going to work, but let's just hope. Come on, RX. Rose, it's like they. <laughs> I could still hear it in the background, See, but, you know, probably doesn't. That's right. Back in our college, our studio had cement walls. True story. Oh, oh, that's rough. That's all right. The studio I just worked in didn't have diffusion. Beautiful studio. No diffusion. I don't know what the deal is. Probably don't need. Concrete walls. Wow. Is it, did you work in an echo chamber? Is that what you're telling Rose, me? Rose, it's like the... Ah, oh, that's good enough. Fixed. Rose, it's like the... Okay, come over here. I don't... That's... I think when there's a bit more, maybe I'll just put a car by at the same time. Like what? Okay. Oh, you can hear them everywhere. Like what? Like what? Like... Oh, well. Okay, come over here. I don't, I don't want to be too close to the diner, you know? Okay. Oh, the horse is back. Don't listen to this. I don't want to... It's such a weird, like, gate. Like, it doesn't even... Like, they, they have one high heel that's a lot louder than the other high heel. So there's one, one high heel that's... I don't want to be too close to the diner, you know? Okay. I know, it's weird. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll fix all that up. Diner, you know. Get on, my, get on my high heels. You guys got a pair of high heels that you like doing foley with? I got my foley pits and everything. I got all them from work, so that's that's good. I've got my, um, got to start sitting there and walking around. But I, concrete is the one, or asphalt is the one I don't really have. I generally just literally go outside and get it late at night because I live in a nice little quiet suburb. But... I don't know, like, do you have to, do you think you just go and get concrete and make it? I, I just don't like the way concrete sounds most of the time. People don't generally walk on concrete. I mean, I, I suppose they do work on streets, you know. Sort of. um, but I think, I think asphalt maybe sounds a bit better than concrete. I don't know. I suppose it doesn't really matter. It just depends on what they're actually walking on. But this is one of those times where, um, like, I probably, when I do the foley for this, I won't actually do them walking on concrete. I'll do them walking onto grass so that they're, because they're talking about how... Okay, come over here. I don't, I don't want to be too close to the diner, you know? You know, so that they're, like, going around the back of something. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have them walking off the concrete onto grass or something and have them, uh, or maybe a dirt road or something like that. Not that you want to do that in high heels, but... I mean, would she be wearing high heels? If she's a waitress, she probably wouldn't be wearing high heels. And then a paranormal investigator is probably not wearing high heels. What kind of shoes would a paranormal investigator wear, do you think? Boots? Big stompers or something? I don't know. Depends what type. But she she just sort of doesn't really believe in it all. So um, I guess she could wear whatever she wants. Close to the diner, you know? Okay. When you mention Rose to any of those people, it's like... Oh, they're still walking. 
Oh, there's more. High heel tennis shoes. What do you think high heel tennis shoes are? I'm gonna get rid of that too. I don't want to be too close to the diner, you know. Okay. When you mention Rose to any of those. Pop there. Boop. Temporary ghost hunter. Expensive sneakers. Yeah, that makes sense. When you mention Rose to any of those people, it's like either they act like they can't hear you or they just kind of pat you on the head and tell you to calm down. It's bizarre. Eplosive. Some of this stuff, like, as much as you want to jump in and fix absolutely, also not going to happen because who's got the time? I mean, you like, look, we're going to fix so much of it. Her tongue is loud and clicky. This lady, yeah. Either they act like they can't hear. Her tongue is loud. I like that. Imagine if you had a loud tongue. Ah, oh, really not nice, is it? I really, as I said, I would have preferred to do this denoising myself, but as it is, it's it's fine. Like when when you listen to it in context, and you know, really, I I listen to so many podcasts just in the car. I probably can't judge a lot of the time. Either they act like they can't hear you, or they just kind of pat you on the head and tell you to calm you, or they just kind of pat you on the head and tell you hear you, or they just kind of pat you on the head and tell you to calm. Good. Are you going for intelligibility? It's bizarre. Are they usually like? It's a real. It's bizarre. Are... Yeah. To calm down, it's bizarre. I can say it's pretty aggressive, isn't it? It's bizarre. I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's bizarre. It should probably just not be as as high frequency, right? If I got rid of that, we just shredded that a little bit. That down. It's bizarre. Same, doesn't it? I've went through a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think a, a, a replace was a there. Calm down. It's bizarre. Now, do you think it's better with no b or down? It's bizarre. It's, you kind of hear the b anyway. Down. It's bizarre. I don't think it needs to be that though. I think if I just you to calm down. It's bizarre. So hard to tell though, because if I do that, then we have no. Are you to calm down? It's bizarre. Do you think it's better with no b? It's bizarre. Or a really clicky one. Down. It's bizarre. Bizarre. I really thought just getting rid of the high frequency. Down. It's bizarre. Was gonna work, but. What if we try the opposite? Why don't, why don't we just get rid of the low frequencies only? That helps. You to calm down. It's bizarre. Hey, that's better. I like it. Yeah, people probably won't notice. It's bizarre. Are they? I like to look at these things and try and figure out if I can. You know, you want to learn something off every single project. Like, even though, you know. I'm not going to be, you know, drilling this as hard as, well, I guess I am. Like, I, I sort of go through this and try and make it the best project I can. You know, make it make it sound the best in the time I have. Are they usually like that about, you know, town secrets? Well, up until now, I didn't think we had any town secrets. But if you're looking for Rose. Because um, you don't, you don't want to, I and mean, you never want to half-ass anything. Like... I've been editing this podcast for a while. That's um, good podcast. It's it's a podcast all about cannabis, but uh, it's a it's a cool podcast because it's just two guys talking, and you end up doing a lot of work to try and make it sound. Well, no, actually, you don't have to do any work to make it sound good because the guys are great speakers and it works really well. No, I didn't think we had any town secrets. But if you're looking for Rose, I want to help you. But it's kind of cool because it's it's a good chance to just work on your craft and get better at doing. I just do for that. I just got rid of the low frequency. Um, yeah, it's a good chance to just get rid Rose. of 
I want to help you. I want to help you. I think I was. Um, I want to help you. Yeah, it's a good chance to just skill up, try something different by moving this differently. You know, that's why like this kind of setup, I don't know if it's totally necessary for, for what I'm doing because well, it's an audio drama that I'm, I might not need to come back to, but I might need to come back to it. And if I want to, if I can come back to it, or if I need to redo something or remix it, you know, or do more deliverables, it'd just be great to have it all. And and it's it's a good chance to just keep drilling the, the workflow. And, I want to help you. Uh, That's great. Where do you think she is? Well, okay, so like a few weeks ago, or maybe like a month, something happened. What? Well, I was in... It's quite funny, really, because like at the moment, it's super bright. Um, and it's super bright just because I haven't, I haven't closed it all. As I said, I've moved into this uh, back room now and uh, it's, I mean, it's a setup studio wall. It can go through to the next room and it's board stuff in the other room or whatever, but um, it's, it's going to get totally closed off, um, which is just enjoying the sunshine while I can. Yes. Something happened. What? Well, I wasn't there, but some of these guys went to the world. Using our Explosive, that is. Hard, I suppose, for, for the recordist on that, because they're on and off mic a lot, probably not going to get the chance to sort of stop in. Say, hey, can you take that again? But slightly off. Again. Well, I wasn't there, but some of these guys went to the woods to watch this meteor shower. Oh, it's another car. Meteor shower. I don't think we can. What about that? Look at it. You can see it. Chance. No chance. Well, I wasn't there, but some of these guys went to the woods to watch this meteor shower. Well, I wasn't there. Uh, just, what do you reckon? Just paste more? Okay. And I guess... Paste more cars in the background? And I guess Rose was there? Like, uh, have you ever seen the... Well, have you ever seen... Have you ever seen a rom-com before? No, so in a rom-com when they have that, uh, that, that scene where they're breaking up and they're like across the road, they're, they're on, yeah, add a bit of background. Yeah, exactly, Valdez, that's, that's what I'll do, it just ghost it out. But uh, yeah, when you have that scene where there's people, um, somebody's in uh, across the road on the zebra crossing, and they're like yelling at each other, and there's cars going past all the time, and they use that to change the volume levels all the time. They always put a car by, and then they drop the volume, and you don't realize because the car's super dynamic. Works really well. And I guess Rose was there, or so some of these that might might have problems. I, I like bicycles. Bicycles are pretty cool, and you just use bicycles. Or they they bell and they ring. And her, they... well, I'm not sure. I don't really yeah, know. Exactly, you do it all the time. It's her, so well, useful. I'm not sure. I don't really know her. But the guy said they said the sky fell down. The sky fell down. I know it's the sky fell down. Not what you want. You used to. You mean you used to? Oh, right. Yeah. No, I see what you The sky fell down. Yeah, man. Just... Gotta keep going. It'll come back. The sky fell down. I know. It's... And they seem pretty freaked out. And they wouldn't say much about it. And then... Weird cadence. Oh. Some of these, like, broad brush de-clicking stuff. I don't know. Sometimes it depends on their performance as well. Like she's kind of got a panicky sort of thing going on. At the end of the day, this is going to get crunched to MP3s, so I just want to try and they and seem pretty remove as many artifacts as I can. Oops. Pretty, pretty freaked oh. out, and they wouldn't say much about it. And then they got sick, but like really sick, huh? And since then, things are just off it's like whatever happened that night spooked the whole town and yeah man mp3s most podcasts are still mp3s believe it or not some are in waves uh yeah it's fucking it man it's you, you really don't think it would be um but mp3s are pretty much it it's so disappointing man mp3s some some stuff still in mono podcasts are really behind like at the end of the day, every time I would do, I'll, I'll edit it 2448 and try and make it sound as great as I can. Try and make it sound like it could play in front of a theater. You know, that's what I really want to do. And and then, you know, then you export the uh, B3. 
town. And Rose has been missing since then? Not long after. Listen, was this... Not long after. Really weird car stuff in this. Where they recorded it outside. They actually, a lot of uh, audio dramas are done on location. So if it's, if it's shot outside, they'll, they'll do it outside. Really cool. Yeah. It's hard, man. The the way that they sort of do it. I don't know. As I said, a lot of people are just listening in their cars. Um there are some there's some podcasts that are are made, you know, with binaural or in five point one and you're just supposed to put your headphones on, dark room, and enjoy it. But uh, there really aren't that many of them. A lot of them are conversational, a couple of sound effects, that kind of thing. Audio drama is wild west, man. Like it's it's coming around. Podcasts will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, in particular, like audio dramas and stuff, as they get better, and I think as more soundies gravitate towards them, because I've noticed in doing some of this stuff, the sessions that I get off people are just like, whoa, that's really bizarre. Um, yeah, it's, it's, man, it, you'd think nowadays, considering we can like stream 4K from Netflix, that we'd probably be able to stream waves. But for some reason, I think it's hosting and I mean, it's, it's like Discord, you know, you, you send, you go to send a file and it's like, oh, it's bigger than eight meg. And you're just like, oh, really? You know, but I guess that's the, that's the downside of all this stuff. Um, streaming is just gotta, we gotta work out better compression rates or, a better way to do it than just throwing out all of that. I mean, personally, I don't know why we don't... Why why, why MP3 throws out above 16K when you could really throw out below 40 hertz or something for some of these podcasts, not for, like, music, but some of this stuff maybe you could. Since then? Not long after. Listen, was this... You said this happened in the woods? Yeah. So... I mean, it's not all about just throwing it out. It's the dynamic range and everything. So, have you heard anything about a kind of a about a kind of a dead zone in the woods above Jake's place? Jake Talbot's? Yeah, a dead zone. I found this area with no vegetation. No Some weird volume. Stuff I found this area with no vegetation, no leaves, grass, anything, and dead animals too. There are birds and a bunch of deer. Oh, gross. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't been out there for a while. Jake doesn't really like people messing with it. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't been out there for a while. Jake doesn't really like people messing with his Bigfoot stuff. But that's the way they went for the meteor shower, right? Funny how, like, some of these lines are really clear. I guess it's, I don't know, it's very, very conversational. Really cool acting. Yeah, if you, like, when people have got time, man, just on audio dramas and podcasts and stuff heaps and heaps of fun little projects to do you could write your own people are doing adaptions and things like that do their own uh you know like um there was one the other day that was uh hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy thing but that's the way they went for the media i think they're unofficial but um actually a friend of mine's working on like a naughty dog one for uncharted something Probably. They would have wanted to get up that hill. Do you know when exactly this was? Who was there? Anything? I think I can look. Should be done. Check. Uh, I'm probably just going to do to the end of this, and then I need to do some other work. Do you know when exactly this was? Who was there? Anything? Good thing. Almost the weekend. I think I can look it up for you. I think I can look it up for you. And I can give you the guy's phone numbers, but I don't know how much it'll help you. Doing anything fun for the weekend? Not the weekend. Your time. I apologize. 
podcast industry standard oh that's a really weird one again it's a pretty wild west i generally go for about negative 16 buffs um peaks i don't know i i do it a lot like film but 10 db hotter it's sort of um you can go hotter than that if you wanted to um but generally i open up in oh i thought that was all right numbers but i don't know how much it'll help you why not well like i said they're sick like they're in the hospital sick all of them tim's mom says he opens his eyes sometimes but they can't talk everyone yeah yeah that's what spotify plays out exactly benny man like 16 kind of works um some some of them are youtube going for negative 14 man youtube's youtube's audio is pretty effed um a lot of it's i don't know look we're talking about 2db in terms of something like if people are really cranking audio dramas and podcasts they're they're, they're doing it wrong uh, um if people are like slamming it you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know if that's totally necessary but uh yeah i don't know negative 16 i've always gone for it's quite funny because i started here um i just did uh dialogue editing or some dialogue editing tiny bit of dialogue editing for the new cod uh modern warfare and they had um they had essentially like an intensity level that you had to mix to so you were dialogue editing every line to get to a particular level so the level would be like if it was a uh, normal conversation, it'd be like negative 25 laughs. Uh, if it was, you know, maybe a uh, battle conversation, it'd be like negative 21. If it was like screaming, it'd be like 19 and then like 18 or something for like full on death rattles and things like that. Uh, and it'd be like negative 30 for like whispers. And obviously, cause they just do them programmatically. They just sort of smash through them. Um, so you just get like the line and then number four and number four correlates to negative 18. So you just go, okay, mix this to negative 18. Um, and that sort of changes how it's going to be played in the game and, and change up that way. So I got, I got really, really diligent with making like every single line hit exactly. Cause I, I used to get in trouble a lot. If you don't get 0. 0.0, you know, it can't be negative 18.4 cause that's too quiet. It has to be negative 18.0. So it's uh, really, really aggressive, but it's it's really good. So I, I'm I'm going to go back and do that. I just do that anyway, just to try and keep improving at all of these. Uh, Why not? Well, like I said, just keep improving. Whether whether the audio is great or terrible, or it's a massive project or a little project, like treat it really, really well, and and go really, really hard on making it sound great. If the spec is negative sixteen, negative sixteen, it is. Um, and then just be clever with your backgrounds. You know, if it's a quieter scene, bring in some more backgrounds. Those plus and minus intervals that kill me. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it's balls. It's, it's really They're hard. sick. Like, they're in the hospital sick. All of them. Tim's mom says he opens his eyes sometimes, but they can't talk. And I mean, that was like, you had to, you know, noise edit, like, just so many people screaming dying just like uh, or just yes yeah, swearing at the top of their lungs and yeah all that kind of stuff so some of that stuff's hard to listen to like over and over and over and over again to get that to exactly point you know point zero or whatever and you're constantly resetting your luffs meter as well like uh if you have insight open and you forget to wipe off um you know you forget to wipe off your calibration um sometimes what can happen is that it will stay it'll keep calibrating over the time and you lose perspective exactly so you really you want to try and get like get your rough clip gain in as soon as you can smash it all to it so it's relatively close and that you've cleaned up everything that you need to and that you've edited the line really really tight and then once that's done you just bail and you you come you, you just look at the number and you just think okay as long as it sounds really great and the line works then i can hit any number you like you know, that's the thing with loudness specs. People get all antsy about them because, you know, music is at like negative one nowadays or something. And the the post stuff, it's just like, okay, you want me to hit 25? I'll hit 25. It's 27, 27, whatever. Like you, you calibrate your space. You make sure your space is sounding good. You make sure your loudness levels are right coming out of the speakers. That you're mixing at negative 80, 
two or whatever. I'm in a pretty small room, so I'm generally 78 or 79, a bit quieter. Um, and then if I need to, I go to another space to use the 5.1 system. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Negative 0.1. Like I, I had a guy I work with that um, he was a DJ and EDM producer that just was obsessed with loudness. And it was just like, it would get into, yeah, negative point, you know, negative three laughs or negative two laughs. And it was just so insanely loud. Like, and, and the music just sounded garbage on so many, so many streaming platforms until he'd sort of worked out that like, oh, actually um, that, that, that was different. Um, the, the, the loudness level is different. Like you have a touring mix and then a streaming mix and you can, you can make it so much better by just throwing loudness out of the equation sometime. Um, but you know, was there that night? it's progressive. Was there that night? We accept Rose. Rose didn't get sick. No. It'll keep changing, you know. Rose didn't get sick. No. I don't know if I should have just declicked this whole thing. But... Rose didn't get sick. Hard without, I don't want to ruin Rose it. didn't get sick. I don't want to ruin the intelligibility of the line either. No, apparently she was fine. That's weird. Right? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, listen, I gotta get back to work, but, you know, if, see if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little Insta videos all the time. Maybe there's something from that night. Yeah, actually, I found... Oh, things. I mean, why it was being. Phone sounds a bit mad. Which bit is this? The, uh, yeah, actually, I found it at her house. Oh, the phone, right, where she actually says... See if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little Insta videos. Yeah, she has a bit of a nose fart in the middle there, huh? I hate these. I mean, this, the amount of people that kind of do that when they talk, it's, I mean, like, it's by accident. It's not, not on purpose or something, but I don't know. Like it's aggressive EQ and stuff, but you can actually see, because that'll be the line there for sure. Phone. You can see, look at that, like totally dropped off all of that, just gone. And it's super nasally. Rose's phone. She does this. And there's a, and there's a nose fart in the middle. And I just don't know how you're supposed to. Phone. Phone. Rose's phone. I wonder if it's, just, if I get the. In Rose's phone. If I actually just get that nose bit out, maybe it won't sound as bad. We could just like. Rose's phone. She does. If I just get rid of the the little nose fart, because if I get if I get rid of that, then it doesn't really feel as. Rose's phone. She. You know, you won't hear all of annoying stuff that's kind of going on there. Rose's phone. She does. Maybe I should just kind of cut all that stuff. It'd be better if that. that. Rose's phone. She does. Rose's phone. She does. Oh, which what's better? Rose's phone. She having the little break there, or having the Rose's phone. Probably don't need all the all of the stuff. I reckon it's probably better with less. Rose's phone. She yeah, nose fart, man. Nose fart is a technical term. You hear the... I can't really do it. So some people can just do it when they talk. Rose's phone. I can't. Know. Like that. It's a really squelchy sort of thing. And the hard part is it. it's uh, people do it while delivering the line. Rose's phone. I reckon I'm just going to go with this and I'm going to get rid of as much of this preceding Rose's phone. She does and then we'll just gain up that phone.
make it a bit more to work. But you know, if, see if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little Insta videos all the time. It is, it is a bit nasally. I don't know whether is it is it worth grabbing like EQing it. I just there's nothing there. I mean, I've just taken out everything that was there. So uh, that's as good as going to get my friend. Insta videos all the time. Maybe there's something from that night. Yeah, actually, I found it at her house. What? She's always on her phone. Oh, maybe I could uh, just steal that phone, do you think? Her house. What? She's always on her phone. She... What? That recording into a tube here. What? Ooh. Room mode. You think? Pretty decent room mode there. Ooh. What? 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 I probably would have actually, you know, almost guessed. Thought it was probably a bit higher. I didn't think 150. I thought like 180. But what? She's always on her phone. She wouldn't leave it. Do you think we can use this phone? She's always on her. Where is it? Same. It is. Imagine if we got this and it worked. She's so great. I, I don't. I think she says it a bit quickly. Oh, right. phone. Wow, uh, though there she's sort of saying it a bit concerned. Work, but you know, if, see if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little. In oh. Oh, it's so close, isn't it? Find Rose's phone. She Do we get dialogue contour out? <laughs> Almost. I know, right? Close. I reckon we get dialogue con Yeah, stretch it out. I really, I want dialogue contour though, Paul Daz. You gotta understand. Phone. It has to work at some point. Phone. I probably do need to stretch it out as well. You know, the funny thing is that of all the stuff I know how to do, stretching isn't really one. So what do you have to do? You turn on polyphonic and it doesn't work anyway. So monophonic, audio file doesn't work because it's read only. Well, why I don't know how to do this stuff. Um, uh, so I guess I just, and, uh, oops, slice the end of the foe and stretch the one. Okay. Oh. It's really oh. short. I don't know how we're going to, oh, that bit. Oh my gosh. Weird. Now I can't light things. Not good enough. I cannot do it, Captain. I don't know why I can't do it. There we go. We're back. I reckon it's going to sound horrific. See if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little ins Oh man, I reckon it's there. I reckon that's there. Sounds pretty concerned. Working. Grab that, we bump that into it. And then we just... Oh my gosh, do that. I think this computer's... All right. But, you know, if, see if you can find Rose's phone. She does these little Insta videos all the time. Oh, Maybe yeah, there's baby. something from that night. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Sound editing. We can do anything. Something from that night. Yeah. Actually, I found it at her house. What? She's always on her phone. She wouldn't leave it. Yeah. 
Yeah, this whole thing is just awful. But you know. Yeah, the chirpy stuff. Awful. But you know. It needs to sound exasperated, so I can't really get rid of that. I'm gonna. This whole thing is just awful. But you know she's okay. Uh, maybe the breath is. Awful. But you know she's okay. Like, look, you can sense her. Um, or like, yeah. She's, she's out there. She's gotta be. Because you're, well, you're psychic. Oh, that's all coming crashing down. She's, she's out there. She's gotta be. Because you're. What that? Oh. <laughs> that's how she says phone. Yeah. What do you mean? That's in the take. What was she talking about? Um, or like, yeah. yeah, she's she's out there. She's got to be because you're well, you're psychic, right? I like to say, yep. Uh, no, it's it's always been like that. No. Because you're well, you're. I think that is good. Good little like TV hiss. Old TV turning off. Because you're well, you're psychic, right? You. I think this sound is. Good sound. Ever find yourself just building a UI library out of. It's like a Hans Zimmer Brahm. Wish you could just say. Psychic, right? Psychic, right? I don't think the. should be there. Because you're. You're psychic, right? That's kind of better. Be because you're you're psychic, right? You tried like connecting with spirits, or I'm doing everything. Bit of a drop there. Spirits, or I'm doing spirits, or I'm doing everything I can, Camille. Good. With spirits, or I don't like the. Order. I think she should just cut her off. Thing with spirits, or... I'm doing everything I can, Camille. Good. Okay. Yeah. And there's just two. Benny jumping on later today. I'm I'm about ready to just go and hassle him now. Instead of uh, bit of room tone. Yeah. Yeah, I think it needs a tone. I think uh, I think when when the Atmos goes in, I think a lot of the stuff that we're doing is just gonna it's gonna sell. Um, doing here. I'm doing everything I can. Uh, the D click. Yeah, I think with the the Atmos, just to get people talking or whatever, we'll put a separate bit. I think that'll be that would be good. E is there a, like a hotkey for D? There is shift two. Two hundred and seven clicks. That's way too many clicks. I'm doing everything I can. Come here. Mm, I don't think there should be that many clicks fixed. I'm doing everything I can, Camille. Guidelines for audio drama. Mate, you tell me. It's uh yeah, there's there's nothing, man. It's a wild west. Um it's it's totally like most people that are doing audio drama are not I don't want to say not sound designers but they're they're audio producers so um people don't have sound libraries they're not they don't have RX they're not doing stuff like that um in terms of guidelines and mix it so it sounds good <laughs> it's it's oh I hate that piece of advice but that's that's my advice like you know i i think film sound is uh, i like doing it when you come from film sound doing doing audio dramas is like a gift because there's just so much more you can do to get away with stuff um and if you take the you take the aspect of of doing a lot of foley um you can really take it to the next level like you know check out um check out like homecoming or check out uh hang on let me let me get my phone and just check what the audio drama i was just listening to uh, I just finished was called Exeter E X E T E R. Um, yeah, dialogue and Atmos. I, I think dialogue has to just be front and center. Um, dialogue's got to be pretty prominent the whole time. 
backgrounds are got to be there if it's important for the story but you'll notice that they 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 fade out pretty quick again it's a lot like film but um you, you can change perspective on every shot so you can have people far away by fading them out and EQing them so they're further away. You can have people riding a bike past them. You can pan them around if you want to move them away. You can do whatever you want. Like um, the, the, it's, it's a lot like being a film composer, how you want to, when you're a film composer, you want to be able to recontextualize the, the shot over and over again and over again. Just to think, am I doing this the right way? Am I doing this uh, in the most effective way? Am I doing this in a way that's, uh, changing the emotion interestingly or am I doing it in just the first way that I read the scene you know directors and composers will often have different approaches for doing scenes so when you look at doing audio drama it's the same thing sometimes you'll you'll want lots and lots of backgrounds like if they're pushing through the jungle you want to have tons of jungle stuff and lots of foley and animals and stuff but then if they're having a quiet conversation the conversation's important and it's not about doing well it's not about using you know tons of friggin i don't know it's just not about it's not about using all those other elements so i, I think you want to be careful with um having a guideline necessarily and probably best to just kind of get your hands on some stuff and start plugging away i don't know if that helps hopefully that's helpful if it's not helpful i i'm i mean i'm happy to explain anything else but uh yeah the best thing to do would just be like Try and think about what the scene like, needs and then does like in this conversation i'm not going to have all the cars and stuff i'll have a, originally make the dialogue sit comfortably in the atmos yeah yeah i mean remember that people like they have to hear the dialogue really clearly because there's no visual so if you're if you're accomplishing something with sound effects or music or folly make them prominent if you're accomplishing it with dialogue make the dialogue prominent um but don't don't bury it all so it's it's hard and there's wow it's so detailed but you can't really hear what's going on is again you don't have a visual reference so if someone like opens a door but it's covered in room tone then that's a bad that's a bad room you know or a bad room tone you really need to maybe cut the room tone and open the door and then reintroduce the outside ambience if that sort of shows you what, what's happening if that makes sense i'm doing everything i can camille Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get back in there. Um, you tell me if you need anything. Okay. It's 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 tricky like that. You know, you don't know how to uh, you don't know how to approach it. I think there, there's a couple of guys. Um, well, I I think the the hosts have changed actually. Um, but there were there are some people that do the audio drama production podcast. Uh, which which has got some good stuff in it. It's not. It's not very technical sound mind. Uh, I think most people doing audio dramas are generally working on the idea of story first and tech later. You know, people are recording with USB mics and voice actors are just sending over, uh, over lines remote and stuff like that. So you're often uh, having to really do a bit of surgery to get it all together. Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got to get back in there. Um, you tell me if you need anything, okay? Yeah. Um, here, take my card. If you think of anything at all, call me. And if you don't get through, just try again or text or something, okay? I haven't been getting my voicemails lately. Or even that, like that's an interesting line that they keep coming back to because it's going to be really important later, right? And we need to we need to be really aware that it's really important because we can't show a picture of the phone not answering properly. That's why we're always like doing phone answery stuff. Like I, I'll play the start bit here, um, and we'll see how that's going to go, and then we'll probably we'll probably finish up, but. Um, can't be much left actually. It'd be pretty close. Yeah, I'm literally like. Okay, thanks, Laura. I'm just, I'm just so glad someone believes me. I know. Um, we'll find her. I know we will. Okay, so then there's. Bit. First skipped message. Laura. Laura. It's so beautiful. End of message. So that kind of thing, for instance, is going to get a lot more treated. Actually, if you go back to like the very start, so I've I've kind of done this thing here, and I'll I'll do something similar later on, where 
I've got this phone call. Uh, phone call sounds like this. Originally. Hello, this message is for Lara Campbell. This is Dr. Penelope Simmons, general practitioner in the town of Charity, Oregon. I don't know your plans. Great voice actor. Sounds really, really cool. Um, and essentially, we've taken it and popped it on the phone. Hello, this message is for Lara Campbell. This is Dr. Penelope Simmons, general practitioner in the town of Charity, Oregon. And I, I've essentially just highlighted sort of tiny tiny little slivers and process those slivers really hard so you have things like this yeah so there's all these like tiny little chips and stuff and it's just to try and make that more interesting phone sort of element of charity organ. I don't know your plans in charity, Miss Campbell, but I must ask you not to go inside the balloon home. There appears to be some kind of contaminant related to the environment or the home. The symptoms include respiratory depression, hallucinations, periods of catatonia. Again, I must advise you to avoid the area as a matter of public health. Please contact me with any... Right, so it's, there's, there's going to be parts that'll... Uh edited no so th that plugin it's a, it's actually all i'm doing is like highlighting a region and then i'm using it's really really cool i really really dig it um what was i using i'm pretty sure i was using a mix of sci-fi and lo-fi and just audio sweeting in there so you have like as a as a that and you would be like sample and hold smash the depth change the rate and render as a and didn't get much there but that's okay let's do like this and turn that up Yeah, so you get, but you just you're just dropping bits and pieces in. So then I must advise you to avoid the area as a matter of public. And and you're just kind of trying to find parts of the sentence where they'll understand everything. It's like dropping the dropping the vowels out of a of a piece of language or something. So as a as a you can kind of reprocess things. As a and just keep jumping in and doing little little slices. Like that's only the first pass. I'll probably go over it again. But I like this last bit. Public health. Please contact me with any. Believer. Yeah, and then we go into the show. So it's there'll be some parts where I'll, I'll probably stretch out some of the, that delivery and. Uh, I need to buy some walkie talkies and just run it all through walkie talkies and get some, you know, cause you can kind of, uh, like if, if you're, if you get one of those car kits where you can plug your phone into your car, um, and use the radio, man, those things are the best. Take a mic, sit in the car, um, play a piece of voiceover through your car and record it and then just change the radio channel pretty like it's pretty easy and you'll you'll get these really really cool ways to futz up um the audio because otherwise like I, I really like things like futz box and all of that um they're amazing for getting the tone right and you'll notice i'm literally just eqing it and i could probably do a better job here but um thinking of them as like layerable little techniques i think is is awesome because then you, you get all these different bits and then on top of that there's a, just a regular rx lo-fi which is literally just using uh lo-fi uh yeah using lo-fi crunching down um the sample rate and stuff like that but i mean you can do the same thing uh with lo-fi like uh, some of these have got lo-fi some of them some have something else but yeah if you have like this, me this bit this message is this message is this message is this me and then you just go like sample size two bits Right, and so you could go through the whole thing and just kind of play. Hello, for Laura Campbell. This is right, and 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 just reprocess reprocess over and over and over again. Like you don't have to smash the distortion because if you if you turn the distortion all the way up, love that it goes to eleven. How cool is that? Um, it becomes really crackly, which is fine, but you can just like highlight a tiny, tiny bit. 
tiny, tiny sliver, turn your distortion all the way down, render, and sit there and just render like little, little slivers. Hello, this message is for Laura Campbell. This and you get, you get a, a really cool phone that's not just, doesn't just sound like a phone, but also kind of breaks up like a phone, which is pretty neat. Um, I'll probably leave it there for today because I'm supposed to be doing other work. Um, but it's almost, almost one. So that's, I think that that'll be fine. Um, man, Boulders, thanks for dropping in. That was sick. If anyone else wants to drop in and say hi, I'll be streaming again at some point. I'm going to keep working on this for a little bit, um, another time. And yeah, I want to see if, uh, oh, Benny's, Benny's live streaming now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go annoy him, but, uh, yeah otherwise it was awesome um i'm gonna i'll probably do the same sort of thing pop it on youtube uh as well maybe if people are interested in this kind of thing um i'll be doing that so otherwise i will see y'all next time